IPCC report the sixth assessment what it has for India is something we would discuss in this lecture. So let's focus on what IPCC has brought into measures of high confidence and measures of medium confidence. We have seen a lot of headlines. India would be susceptible for rising heat waves and uh, rising precipitation, rising cyclonic condition. But let's understand what has actually been put into the issues of high confidence and medium confidence. Both of, both of those things, rising heat waves and uh, increasing precipitation are part of medium confidence for India. When it comes to the whole of Asia, the rise in the mean surface temperature, rising marine heat waves, rising sea levels and declining glaciers have been put under high confidence. That means IPCC is highly confident that these these things are ought to occur in near, near future however when it comes to uh, fire issues or rising precipitation reducing the runoff from the glacier uh, those are cited under medium confidence so be very very particular about what has been cited under the official report first of all now in india mainly in the regions of southeast asia and south asia it has has been uh, mentioned that in the late uh, in the early 21st and the uh, late 21st century there would be weakening of monsoon so monsoon would be impacting the development in the region and this would be mainly due to what mainly due to anthropogenic aerosol forcing so aerosols released due to human intervention would be some of the reasons. Now aerosols are some of the major causes for air pollution. We would understand that in the section in a while. Now IP IPCC has cited that for region of Asia, if the temperature rises to 1.5 degree Celsius, 2 degree Celsius or 4 degree Celsius, what could be the implication? So if the mean temperature is rising, it would significantly affect and cha bring change in the northern Asian region. However, the total precipitation from December to January, so this is December to, uh, sorry, February, the total precipitation that is December, January and February, that would significantly be impacted in the northern, uh, in, uh, increasing in the northern Asia. However, it would be decreasing in the regions of southern Asia, that is particularly India. If we talk about June, July and August precipitation, this would mainly impact the north and the northwest Asia. India and particularly the Southwest Asia, then the maximum temperature above 35 degrees has ought to impact the Southwest Asia along with the South Asia and the Southeast Asia if the temperature rises above 4 degrees Celsius. So this is how the developments have been mentioned. Under the sixth uh, chapter of the sixth assessment of IPCC, the chapter is named as Short-Lived Climate Forces, SLCF, and this focuses on air pollution. Now, air pollutants, according to IPCC in India, have been significantly higher. The concentration of lethal air pollutants is much more higher in contrast to other nations. We have significantly high proportion of nitrogen dioxide emitted from the power sector, particulate matter 2.5 emitted from biomass and coal based fuels, fuels, higher amount of ammonia from the agricultural regions, mainly in the India it is the Indo-Gangetic plain and in United States it is the Midwest and the Central Valley. So these regions have witnessed higher ammonia and that is due to the burning of biomass. Again IPCC has said that some of the air pollutants have warming effect, others have cooling effect. For example, methane, ammonia and ozone have cool, uh, warming effect. However, sulfates and nitrates have relatively cooling impact on the atmosphere and this indicates the rising aerosols which is responsible for weakening monsoons in the south and the southeast asia now coming on to the regional classification which is done now this regional classification says that these three territories are part of north asia then we have two territories here uh, which are marked as e those are part of east asia then we have another region here which is part of Southeast Asia. Uh, India is lying in the region of South Asia. 
Then above India, we have Tibet, which significantly impacts India. In the West, we have two regions which are part of West Asia. Now, the forecast which have been done for the region of South Asia explains two important things and both of them are medium confidence. That means there would be rising instances of heat waves or humid heat stress level and there could be rising instances of precipitation both annual precipitation and summer precipitation but both of these are under medium confidence as per the IPCC report. What is under high confidence is our neighboring region which is Tibet. So as per the high confidence report it says that the Hindu Kush mountain region the glaciers are sought to are ought to have reduced glacial volume and there would be reduction in the snow cover which is seen in the Hindu Kush mountain region and as a result it would also affect the Karakoram glaciers. So Karakoram glacial mass the snow amount in the Karakoram would be affected and that is IPCC is highly confident about it. So the major important thing where we have high confidence is rising glaciers and increasing precipitation in the region because of the melting of the glaciers and that is a overview that we have understood. So whenever you are reading any official report, be very, very careful that you go into the right details and see what has been cited under the report uh, to know more about uh, various discussions and courses that we have. Follow the links below and we would be covering many more important topics from the perspective of environment, geography and science and technology in the coming sessions. So stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.